and 24. You know, keep giving. If I keep giving, God will keep me blessed. God will keep me on top. God will keep me abundantly supplied. I won't run out. Your mind may say, well, if you keep giving, you're going to eventually run out. Not with God and not according to the word of God. This is a principal thing. It'll work for anybody. If I keep giving, if I generously support and help others and give and bless the church and bless the work of God, if I keep doing that, I am going to increase more and more. Amen. And then it says that if you hold back, if you feel like, you know, I'm not giving them all my money and I'm not, you know, and whatever, however you uh, say those things. But, you know, it says if you hold back, you will end up in poverty. Wow. You will end up in want. Amen. You know, uh, stingy people are not blessed people. Amen. If you hold back and you don't want to help anybody and you don't want to support or be a blessing to anybody, you will end up in poverty. Wow. Let's keep going on throughout this scripture now. Amen. Let's go to this 21st to 25th verse. It says this, a liberal giver shall be made fat and he that water it shall be watered himself. Wow. A liberal giver, the person who's always giving shall be made fat. That means shall superabound, shall, shall increase, you know, shall be uh, uh, superly blessed by God, made fat. That means enriched, enlarged, increased, abundantly supplied. Amen. A liberal giver, the person who's always giving, shall be made fat. And then it says, he who waters others are watering himself. Wow. So now whenever I'm a blessing to somebody else, I'm blessing myself. Amen. Exactly. That's right. If I'm a blessing to the work of God, the kingdom of God, I'm being a blessing to myself. Amen. That's right. Amen. As you water others, you are watering yourself. Amen. Now let's just keep going on throughout the scripture here. And I'm showing you God's principles of giving and receiving. Amen. Sowing and reaping. And God is showing you how he wants to position you to be blessed. The scripture lets us know here in the book of Ecclesiastes, the 11th chapter, verse 4. It says this, that if you observe the winds, you will never sow. The person who observed the winds will never sow. Now, what that means is that if you constantly are observing the conditions or, or let's say this, that if you are waiting for the conditions to be favorable before you decide to give, you'll never give. Wow. You know why? Because, you know, we can always find a reason why not to give. Amen. You know, well, I need my coffee money for the week. You know, I need my this is my gas money for the week uh, and all that, those kinds of things. So, you know, you can always come up with an excuse why not to give. There, there are many reasons you can look at things all around you and say, well, I need money for this. I need money for that. You know, there's always a reason why not to give. But if you keep observing the winds, the conditions of your life, you will never give. Amen. Because the conditions will never be favorable enough for you to give. So the person who who observe the wind will never give and the one who observed the clouds shall never sow and will never reap. If you never sow, you never reap. You are not in a position to receive anything from God. As a matter of fact, if you don't give and if you never sow seed, you are disqualified for heaven's blessings. Wow. I'll say that again. If you never give, if you never sow seed, you are disqualified for heaven's blessings, for God's favor. Now you may work and you may have have to work hard to accomplish everything that you are going to accomplish in life. And that's where many of us live at. We work and we work and we work to accomplish. But there is another thing that many of us don't know anything about, that if we get into the principles of God's word concerning sowing and reaping, giving and receiving, then you are in a position where you don't always have to work to be blessed. Wow. Uh, okay, now that means God is responsible of 
doing things for you that you can't do for yourself. That's what favor means. Favor means that I don't even have to work for these blessings. There are some blessings that I am going to receive from being obedient to the word of God. Amen. So stop observing the winds and stop waiting for things to be favorable before you decide to sow. Amen. Because God wants to super bless you and superimpose on your life. Let's let's finish this up now. Uh, uh, Philippians 4 and 10. Amen. We see here in Philippians 4 and 10 that Paul is talking to the Philippi church and he's telling the Philippi, he says that you wanted to give, but no one gave you the opportunity. Amen. And there are those of you who may be watching on this morning. You've never even thought about this giving and receiving, sowing and reaping. You know, no one has never given you the opportunity to operate in this principle that God has provided for every one of us. And so he says, you wanted to give, but no one gave you the opportunity. And so Paul pre began to present the opportunity for the church of Philippi to enter into this giving and receiving contract with God. As a matter of fact, if you go on to read Philippians 4, 10 and so on, you'll see that Paul tells them, he says that when you begin to support the work of God, you literally open up an account for yourself, a debit and a credit account. Whoa. See, you need to read that. Yeah. You open up a debit and a credit account with heaven. So every time you support the work of God, there's a debit and a credit account that is being established for you with heaven. God will constantly pour into your account. Every soul that is one for the kingdom of God will be added to your account. The blessings you're going to benefit from through your own giving and receiving. And so he's giving them the opportunity to enter into this covenant contract with God concerning giving and receiving, sowing and reaping. And the scripture tells us in Galatians 6 and 10 that, that every time you have the opportunity to give, you should give. Galatians 6 and 10, every time opportunity comes before you to give, you should give. Amen. And then it goes on to say, especially to the household of faith. So I tell you this morning that if you are not supporting the work of God, if you're not supporting the kingdom of God, if you're not in a covenant contract with God concerning his assignment in the earth realm, then you need to get on board. You need, you need to get connected with this giving and receiving principle of God so you can position in yourself to be blessed. And I tell you what, that when God begin to bless you, God's blessings are not like man's blessings because God's blessings extends throughout the next generation, which means that your children begin to be engrafted into this covenant. Your grandchildren begin to be engrafted into this same covenant. And so not only will you experience the blessings of God, but your children will begin to live in those blessings. Your grandchildren will begin to live in those blessings. And I can show you that all throughout scripture, the book of Genesis proves this point that I'm saying even now that God will engraft all of your lineage into this covenant blessing. The Bible says that when Abraham sold seed that Levi, who is his great grandson that had not even been born, was still locked up in his loins, entered into that covenant as well. That's why we speak of the blessings of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God, those, those are our forefathers. God has has enrichly blessed them and established them as a legacy in the earth realm. And all those that came after Abraham walked in those blessings. They were tied into the blessings and the covenant of God. So opportunity has come and it is knocking at your door. And I'm going to do like Paul did the church of Philippi. I want to give you an opportunity to give. I want to give you an opportunity to enter into the covenant relationship with God. I want to give you an opportunity to enter into the favor of God. Remember what I said, favor is something that you don't have to work for. So you keep working and working and working to live and that's okay. But favor says you don't have to work. I'll give seed to the soil. I'll bless you. Amen. Because of your faithfulness and because of your obedience and I will cause men to bless your life. Amen. So now 
This is the opportunity that is knocking at your door. And every time you have the opportunity to give, you should do so. Galatians 6 and 10. So I'm giving you an opportunity now to enter into this covenant contract with God and to sow a seed into the life of the Destiny Calls television ministry. Amen. You may be watching at this particular time. And I want to give you the opportunity to be a part of God's covenant blessing in the earth realm. I want to give you an opportunity to sow into the work of God. Amen. So now as you are watching, if you desire to do so, you can do so in a moment. Amen. So I'm going to take this commercial break and I'll come back and give you all of the information how you can enter into this covenant contract. I'll be right back in a moment. Destiny Calls is brought to you by Cornerstone International Ministries, Pastor Sylvester and Ursula Murphy. International Ministries with Pastor Sylvester and Ursula Murphy invites you and your family to worship with us Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. in Opelousas, Louisiana or Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. in Ville Platte, Louisiana. We also invite you to come out to our Wednesday night Bible studies at either campus at 7 o'clock p.m. Cornerstone International Ministries, where we are empowering people one mind at a time. Well, giving and receiving, sowing and reaping, God's plan and principle for every one of our lives. I sure hope you were blessed by the message on this morning, and I want to encourage you to get connected uh, in this principle that God has established for both you and I and for anyone else who want to get involved in this principle and this law of giving and receiving. I want to give you the opportunity that Paul gave the church of Philippi to sow a seed into the life of the Destiny Calls television ministry. Perhaps you've been watching for some time. Perhaps you've been blessed by the ministry, but you have never taken the opportunity to give into the thing that has been giving into you. I want to give you this opportunity now to sow a seed into the Destiny Calls television ministry. Just allow the Spirit of God to lead you, amen, on how you should give. But remember what I said, Luke 6 and 38, that the same measure you use to give is the measure God will use to bless you back with. So now, if you need something big from God, then you need to sow big. And that qualifies you to receive something big from God. You can take time out to send us a seed or a love offering to uh, our P.O. Box 601, Phil Platt, Louisiana, 70586. Or else you may go and visit our website, cornerstoneim.vpweb.com, and you'll see a link there that is for you to click on the donation link, and we'll get you all connected and, and submit your credit card information and what have you so that you can sow a seed and enter into this this covenant contract with God. Remember, as you sow those seed, you are, you're opening up a debit and a credit account with heaven. God is going to keep you abundantly supplied and abundantly blessed as you continue to sow your seeds. I want to encourage you to drop us a line on at our email. You know, just tell us that you are enjoying destiny. You know, we are available for questions and answers and those kinds of things. But you can visit the email at Let's Talk Church at Yahoo.com. And we'll be so happy to receive your emails. And uh, if you would like to call our office for counsel or for prayer, we do have office hours from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the evening. And the number there is 337-363-8035. The operator will be there to assist you with whatever need you may have. So do that. Call our office and we'll be glad to help you and assist you. Cornerstone is available for you. We are one church in two cities, Field Platte and Opelousas, Louisiana. And if you can visit our website, you'll get all of our service times. But we are there and we want to support you and be a blessing to you and pour into your life like never before. And remember that even as you sow your seed, it may leave your hand, but it will not leave your life because God will give back unto you more than what you can give unto him. And I want you to know that even as we're making plans to go into the foreign countries again, we've 
been to Africa, we've been to Haiti, and we're still looking to do more mission work in the year of 2012. So your giving will support us to go into those mission fields because every time we go, we have to pull money out of our own pocket. No one is, is, is you know, supplying for us to go. So your giving will help us do that. Listen, we're out of time, but I'll be back and I'll see you again in two weeks, same place, same time. Remember, your destiny is calling you.